Hello guys, so today we are going to be checking out Toka 2 Touring Car Championship from the British Touring Car Championship, as you can see by the flag. So this was one of the best games from its time. It was released for the PlayStation 1 and it took advantage of most of its capabilities at the time. And it was also released for a computer and somehow you can still run it on modern machines and there are some little downloads with some mods or patches that make it run on a higher resolution than originally possible. So doing that it looks great, especially if you have good memories from it from many years ago. And I believe that many modern games do not yet reach... Uh, many modern games are not as well polished as this one regarding the behavior of the artificial intelligence and the overall immersion with the commentary that the guys make and the pit stops all the little details that were possible to do at the time uh, these guys did the best they could to bring you the most immersive experience and trying to get closest as possible to a real simulation so the first thing that uh, we should try to check out is getting the controller set up and to properly do, do that you have to calibrate it so I think I lowered a little bit my settings on the wheel for how much I can turn it like the steering lock but then you just calibrate it inside the options menu and you make sure everything is well calibrated accelerate brake turn left gear up down rear camera, change camera, handbrake I'm not going to use the handbrake much but there it is in the advanced settings we have uh, some sort of dead zone deflection zones my first axis is the clutch so I'm not going to bother with that this is the brake and this is the throttle not much to, to worry about then we can check out the graphics setup so I already have everything maxed out because I was checking that before let's see mirrors small high detail yeah. special effects everything is turned on so no lower resolution textures hopefully <laughs> there will still be lower those will still be lower resolution so let's go for a championship in expert mode and see how things can go and we are going to be selecting the Renault Laguna I think Nissan Primera would also be a nice choice those cars were pretty fast back then in that championship maybe I think the Renault Laguna was the one welcome that welcome to the all new British Touring Car Championship we have big rule changes for this year including one lap qualifying sessions and two different types of race a short sprint race followed by a longer feature race where strategy will come into play for the new compulsory Formula One style pit stops and we start off with the fastest circuit of the series here at Thruxton. And it's a beautiful day here today. Absolutely perfect racing conditions. Now this was some amazing voice acting from the time that really made the experience really stand out with a lot more immersion. And they will still do some commentary sometimes in the replays or at the ending of the races. For the time that this was released, this was some amazing and immersive uh, career mode. For something that just had a championship, you really got invested into it. <laughs> Let's check the setup. Let's go for a harder suspension, maybe. Let's 
Let's see how this goes. So on we go to the first qualifying session of the day. The new Toka rules for qualifying give the drivers only one lap to prove their mettle before the race itself begins. With only one mistake from the drivers sending them to the back of the grid, tension should be very high indeed. Let's try to get the feeling for the track. I think I was braking too early there, but maybe 50, it's too late. Now this is a really, really long, it's not really a straight, but it's almost like a straight here in Truxton. I'm amazed by how cool the PlayStation 1 game tried to be so realistic. Also has some sensibility for analog controls like racing wheels. Let's see. Let's take a look at the starting grid for the next race. And with all the qualifying laps complete, Second. it's the first pole of the season to David Leslie. He should be quite happy with that qualifying Okay. <clears throat> well, let's start. The drivers are ready then for the start of the sprint race, so let's join them down on the grid. Oh, these guys are fast. Hi there, mate. I have been sidelined. I think the windshield is broken. Uh, I can see which speed I'm going or which gear I'm using when I'm seeing like this. It's really hard to read. Sixth gear. Not sure if I shall drive like that. Let's try. I think I slowed too much. <laughs> I can't even see the rear mirror. This looks fair, but it's a bit weird. I believe most people used to play like this when the game was released. Let's see. The first track of the championship for sure it's easy. So one of the things that I really enjoyed 
was uh, the kind of uh, realism that you had when you played uh, this game back in its day. No other game was so hard to actually nail the breaking points and uh, actually control the car without spinning, even though the cars are front-wheel drive. I remember by this time I used to play this game with a friend of mine and then Gran Turismo 2 and Gran Turismo was way easier to drive. Of course, the fun was in getting all the cars, buying cars in the used car lot and equipping them, doing all sorts of different races and comparing different cars, but uh, it never felt like a proper racing championship, like a proper sports thing. This game, on the other hand, it took me a bit of a while to get better at it, but at the same time, when you really got better at it, you really enjoyed the realism that it had to offer and the sort of more immersive simulation experience that you had. I think that this was one of the best for its time, of course, and one of the most immersive as well. And back in the day, not many companies were making the car interiors visible like this, so that you could actually feel like you were really driving. Let's see. So we're getting to the final lap now. I think I'm getting a bit more acquainted with the circuit as time goes on. Yeah, we are having five laps, I think the 5 lap sprint is for the expert difficulty. It's strange to me, <laughs> maybe it's because I'm using like a proper wheel and I did a proper setup on the car as well and I chose maybe a good car, I don't know, but well, for the first race this felt easy. Let's see the results. So guys, I messed up my recording and so I'm here already in the middle of the endurance race. Sort of the longer endurance race from the championship. I started last because I didn't qualify. The race that we had earlier was so easy that I thought I would need to qualify. And by doing so I got mixed up with the grid and that was a big mistake because then these guys will be sometimes a bit aggressive especially on expert mode and I got pointed off the track so now I'm grey trying to catch up after being pointed let's see At least get uh, some points, try to salvage what's left from this race. This should have been a lot easier if I had took the time to qualify. <laughs> And I still have to go to do my pit stop as well. It's always on this sort of straight, it's not really a straight, but it's not really uh, a strong curve. But on the long part of the circuit, 
on the fast part it's usually where I get punted. I have to be looking out for that. I think we are halfway through, we should be beating now. Here we don't have to control anything. Oh, I forgot I had to choose on the pit menu. I lost so much time. I'm back into last. Four laps to get from 16th to anywhere better. Let's see. Traffic doesn't come in handy, but let's see what we can salvage from here. I have to use the outside camera because I don't want to get pushed off the track again. My windows are broken on the sides. The guy tried to go for a move on me there. <laughs> I have the inside line, so... Well, we're in ninth position. At least we'll be getting some points. Hopefully. If things keep going well, mm, let's see. That card really sounds like a Volvo. Now, 
these guys from the top of the grid. These ones are really fast, I'm not sure if we are able to catch them in just two laps. Messed up. Trying to break too late. Final lap. Repeat. This is the final lap. And my split time got red. I can see them all. <laughs> and those two guys are fighting. At least let's try to get third place. From last to third, not too bad, but we could have done better. So we got third place, let's see. After two cracking races, let's see who has so benefited in the, in the title race. In well, second. with a huge number of points still available, it's difficult to read too much into the championship table at this stage. Let's see how the teams have fared in the Constructors' Championship. Yeah, our team is doing pretty well thank you for watching guys i hope this brings some good memories out of you and some nice nostalgia please comment like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video thank you very much and see you next time